This video is going to continue in the series about named distributions. This video is going to be about the binomial distribution. So we'll start out with a quick example and a more simple explanation in plain English. Then we'll move on to a more formal definition and we'll conclude with uh, developing a plot of the binomial, binomial density function in R. So let's start out with a simple English explanation of the binomial distribution. Okay, here we go. Suppose you flip a fair coin, that is the probability of observing heads or a one is equal to 0 0.5, 10 times. So that might be something like this. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten flips. And I'm just going to make them up as I go. First one is a head, second one is tails, third one's heads, fourth one's heads, fifth one's uh, heads, tails, tails, heads, tails, tails. Just completely made that up, but it doesn't matter. Here we have 10 Bernoulli values because each of these is a fair coin, can only take on two values and no two um, flips are related in any way. This is 10 Bernoulli's. So essentially when I'm saying 10 times, I'm saying 10 Bernoulli's with P equal to 0 0.5. One binomial data point counts the ones. So you might have the binomial data point one, two, three, four, five. That right there is your one binomial observation. The single number, the five. Okay, that's our quick example. We are going to take some number of binomials and collapse them down into a single, oh wait, let me say that again. We take some number of Bernoulli's and collapse them down into a single binomial by summing the Bernoulli's, okay? Let's try a more formal definition of the binomial distribution. Sum, capital K, Bernoulli with P observations. Okay, it's almost too short <laughs> to be helpful, but in fact, that is the more formal definition of a binomial distribution. The binomial is the sum of some number, I'm just going to call that number capital K, Bernoulli with probability P observation. So each Bernoulli has the same probability, and you're going to sum up K of those Bernoulli observations. P, here's some more notes is the same value for all k observations. Okay, here's another note. The one binomial observation, that is the sum of these k Bernoulli, can take on any value 
in the set zero, one, two, all the way up to capital K. Now let's explain that just a little bit. If we are evaluating capital K Bernoulli observations, then each of the K Bernoullis is either a zero or a one. Well, if we're summing them up, then if we sum up capital K zeros, then the binomial can only be zero. If we sum up capital K ones, then the sum has to be capital K. And in fact, if we sum up a vector of zero and ones, then we're going to get some integer in between zero and k. Notice there are k plus one possible values that a binomial can take on. So next, I'm going to immediately jump into R and uh, show us how to develop a plot for the density function of a binomial distribution. I'm not going to show us the formal code just yet for the actual function. I'm just going to use a built-in function in R. For a little bit longer, that will be our friend. So here we go. We're going to need some probability of each underlying Bernoulli. So I'm just going to start out with a simple example. Let's imagine we have a fair coin, and we are going to flip the fair coin 10 times. We're going to use our friend, the function curve, and then this new function we've never seen before. It starts with a D, which stands for density, of the binomial distribution. We'll put X in as the first argument, and then K, and then P. And we want our x-axis to go from 0 to k, and we're going to have k plus 1 points. And we indeed want points, which starts with the letter p instead of lines. And we want the point characters to be filled in circles. So I'll put my cursor at the top of this uh, R file here. And I'm going to hold Command because I'm on a Mac. If you're on a Windows machine, hold Control and then hit Enter three times. And you should get this fancy plot. Now, this density function is a mathematical representation of the pattern with which data might show up from flipping a fair coin 10 times. Well, watch. If it's a fair coin and you're going to flip it 10 times, how many heads or ones do you expect to see? If you said five, you are correct. Five is the most common outcome from flipping a fair coin 10 times. And look at what this plot is telling us. Here is the value five on the x-axis, even though it's not marked. It lives here. And this point is telling us that the most likely value to see for flipping a fair coin 10 times is five. So indeed, observing five heads in 10 flips of a fair coin is the most likely value to see. Notice the plot is symmetric. Zero is very unlikely. You are not likely to see zero heads in 10 flips of a fair coin. Similarly, you are not very likely to see exactly 10 flips, uh, 10 heads in 10 flips of a fair coin. I encourage you to play around with this little code snippet here. Change the probability to some other number. Keep k at 10 for a little bit. Remake the plot. And then explain to yourself what the plot is telling you using the logic we just used to say 5 is the most likely outcome of flipping a fair coin 10 times. Once you have a good idea of what changing p does, then change k uh, and or P at the same time, but start by just changing P on its own first. Hopefully this was a quick introduction to the binomial distribution. We haven't yet explored the functional form of the density function, but we've at least seen what it looks like. And as you develop some more plots, you will get a better understanding what uh, the density function looks like. And later on in the course, we will look at what the mathematical expression for this density function actually is.